of the main ones is, is fuel. Um, we, we think it will just get better and better as time goes on and we generate these tramways, basically turning them into roads and uh, the rolling resistance on the, on the equipment is, is less. I think we see a better water infiltration after a rain event, that the, the crop isn't sitting in water and, and that water is going down, where the, where the plant uh, with, with less compaction, the roots can easily get to it. And uh, in saying that, they can also pick up any nutrients along the way. CTF helps uh, do on-farm research in that you can spray a pass of something you want to try with 120 feet and you know those combines are going to be on on that line and and it makes it quite easy to generate some very good yield maps that are useful. Yeah, so the first thing you, you need to do is uh, figure out what width you want to work with, whether it be a, a 30 foot system or a 40 foot system, probably are the choices in our area. Um, and, and then most people are, are going with a 120 inch wheel spacing, which uh, can, can cause some troubles with certain equipment. Um, on the uh, where we run mostly John Deere equipment, so uh, because of the Australia experience, uh, Deere has some what they call cotton spools that you put on the the front axle of your mechanical front wheel assist to move the tires out. The we have one four wheel drive that we've taken the duals off and widened the uh, the single set of tires out to 120. So. There, there is some equipment manufacturers that are uh, able to provide this stuff. If, if that's not the case, then you, you pretty well have to get busy in the shop and do some manufacturing. Um, I think a lot of this stuff also, not, not, it's not only the, the, the CTF program in Australia that, that is uh, gaining this momentum at the dealers, but also the row crop in, in um, uh, you know, maybe in the corn country that they, they have to deal with driving in between the row spacings, the row units, and uh, that also helps with uh, getting some of the right equipment. We, we do see some efficiencies out in the field. Um, I, I guess when we, we go out there with multiple units, we, we know where we're, we're going when we get there. We don't all have to set up uh, guidance lines and, and try and figure out what the best way is to do the field. And, and so if you have uh, someone that's never been on the field before, uh, it does eliminate maybe a couple phone calls on, on which, which heading we want to use. You know, as long as those fields are engineered from the beginning, um, we, we uh, get on the, the most efficient way to do the, the field.